Oh, he's your servant of Allah. But he also says he's the son of God. He and says Abdullah. Even the Tanakh says he's the son of God. Yeah, yeah, but son of God means what? There are many sons of God in the Bible. No, son of God doesn't mean your God. No, but the anointed one. Yeah. The, the, the that means he's a Messiah. God. We agree. By the way, I'm not no. a Jew. I'm a Muslim. Yeah. I know. I don't yeah. reject Jesus. I accept Jesus. No, I don't. The only thing I reject is the Christianity, which claims that he is a God. That is what I reject. I reject Christianity, not Jesus. Yeah. There's a difference. You do reject Jesus. Okay, how do I reject Jesus? Go on. Because you don't put him in his rightful place as the Son of God. Okay, when you say Son of God. I'm the Savior of the world. That's fine. Son of and God. He died for your sins. Son of God means what? Tell me. Well, he was dying. Well, let me tell you this. Jesus wasn't the Son of God when he came out of Mary. No, he no. Tell me before. what the Son of God means in your understanding. Well, Son of God, again, you can just say it's all of us, we're all born of God. That's right, okay, partly. <laughs> but, however... So earlier you were saying I rejected. No, no, because... So if you're saying metaphorically Son of God, which means in the Jewish terminology... Not metaphorically. Well, it is metaphorically. Literally would be biological son. But what I would say... Do you agree? What, what, what wait, wait, literally okay. would be a biological son. Is Jesus a biological son of God? He's a son of God that existed before mankind. No, no, afraid. literally would imply biological son. Is Jesus what is biology in eternity? Come on, you know you don't know what's biological son. But you're talking. You are you the biological son of your father? But we're talking. Are you the biological son of yes, your father? Yes, but I Good. came from so, the earth. So you, I came you from are not the metaphorical. Understand. You are not the metaphorical son of your father. No. You are the biological son of your father and your mother. Yeah. Yes, that is what biology because it connects your DNA with their DNA. Does what Jesus? No. Does Jesus? Have a biological father. One, of, well, again, you've answered it partly because he, it was a miracle birth. He wasn't born to a father. You agree he was born to a virgin? Yes. But so, sh that, shall we both agree that he did not have a biological father? That's why it's called a miraculous birth. No, he didn't have a biological father. Good, so let's agree upon that. So, that cannot be literal son then. So, what is the other type of son that he this, can be? Okay. This is what I'm going to explain to you. Go on. Jesus existed not when he came out of Mary, he existed before that. You hear what I'm saying? As what? He was in eternity. That's what? What did he exist as? The Son of God in eternity. Yeah, but why is he called the Son? Because he was the only one with Father God. That's what I'm trying to say. You know why why you have a father and son relationship in the Trinity? Do you know why? Are you going to say something about some Catholicism? Well, the Catholics came before you anyway. So even if I did say about Catholicism, so what? The Catholics so have killed Christians and they continue to do so. And the Pope is actually... What's that going to do? Killing... Are you saying anyone who kills Christian is not a Christian? I'm saying that the Catholic Church is just a perverted doctrine. They pray to Mary. They don't follow the Bible. They follow the Roman Catechism. Where do you think you got your Bible from? We didn't get it from the Romans. Where did you get it from? Who preserved it? Who canonized it? The Catholic the church. church. No, exactly. the church canonized it, not the Catholic Church. So which church was there before the Catholic Church? Um, because the church was just... There was no particular building, then there isn't. There doesn't have to be today. The Eastern That's Church, the, doesn't have the to be Eastern today. Church, which was there. No. Yes, you you don't even let's accept them. Scripture anyway. Let's stick to scripture because we're going into history now. But your your no, scripture has history. come from canonization of those churches. You cannot deny this. No. Listen. Okay. Anyway, we, we were talking is about. Different, it's a different kind of. I'm not talking about the Catholic Church. Kind of I'm talking about Jesus. He was not a biological son. So what other kind of son of God can he be? And this is what I've already answered to you. Which and is? Ask, let me get scripture to. Can I get scripture to answer? Yeah, go on. Answer is using your scripture. Because I'll get the scripture and I'll show you many other sons of God in the Bible other than Jesus. Okay. Okay. Israel is the firstborn, the first begotten of God. That's in Exodus 4:22, I believe. Um, they, uh, sorry, Adam is called the son of God with the definite article. This is in Luke, I think, at the beginning. And the uh, the peace. The peacemakers or the peacekeepers are called the sons and the children of God. So there are, there are sons by the tongues in the Bible. So what makes Jesus a son of God other than being a metaphoric son like the other sons? This is what I'm trying to say to you. What? You're assuming that Jesus came into being when he birthed out of Mary. No. He was there at the beginning. He was there in the beginning in eternity with, the, with God. Do you hear what I'm saying? Well, so so Jesus, was it, Jesus, Jesus quite literally said, I will come down and I will fulfill your will. And then he do you worship Jesus as God? Jesus is God. So, is, so if he is separate from God. So from if he God. is God, why does he claim to have a God? Because he was in the bodily form of a man. Yeah. So, yeah. Was he one person or two persons? Was Jesus? He was divine. No. Was he a single okay, person me, or was he multiple let, person? Let me, tell you, let me tell you a couple of things. When Jesus taught on earth, he had yeah. to be very careful how he taught. 
because you need to understand that he wasn't going to be there forever. So when people were, when when people when he was going to when he was going to die and be crucified on the cross, he needed people to follow them same values. That doesn't take apart, take away from his divinity. No, you didn't understand the question I asked you. You're saying Jesus did not become a son post incarnation. He was a son already before. Is that right? Have I understood you correctly? Yes. So uh, after incarnation and before incarnation, was Jesus one person or more than one person? Sir, again. Yeah. You believe in the three persons of the Trinity, right? You're alluding yeah. to the Trinity. Yeah. Now, the three persons of the Trinity, the second person of the Trinity, I'm talking about. What's the Trinity, man? Just say God. We call it the God. The Bible says Godhead. You can call it Godhead. Godhead. doesn't matter. It's the same thing. It's yeah. the Trinity. So, 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 so the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, yeah. Yeah. the three persons are one being, and this is called the Trinity. The three-in-one concept. Yes? When you become born again, and the Holy Spirit comes into you, that's I'm, the equivalent. That's I'm not, the about, I'm not yeah. about born again. I'm talking about your concept of the Trinity. Yes, which was okay. again established by the church in the 4th century. Yeah. Yes, this concept, no? no? You're saying it wasn't established by the church? I don't believe in the Trinity. Okay, did Jesus ever advocate a Trinity, a triune no. God? So why would you believe in it? If Jesus did not advocate it, why would you believe it? Because Jesus was perfectly in line with the Father's will. The Father was in Jesus no. just as Jesus No, he wasn't in line. Father. He was actually committed and submit submitting Let to the will read, of God. Let's just read the scripture. Let's read one scripture that can that can explain this. That can partly explain the Son of God, and then I'll go to another couple of scriptures. Okay. 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 So this is this is in the Psalms. So David, but I read it out now. So, start from Psalms. Six. Sacrifice and offerings thou dis, did not desire. Mine ears have, have hast thou opened, burnt offerings and sin offerings hast thou not required. Then I said, Lo, I come. In the volume of the book it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O my God, yea, thy law is written within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips, O Lord, thou knowest. Right. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. I have declared thy faithfulness and thy salvation. I have not concealed thy loving kindness and thy truth from the great con congregation. What are, we, what, what are we trying to prove by the scripture here? Because the question I asked you yeah, is... Yeah, I'm this is part, this is part, what I want, I'm trying to get out here is, you need to understand that in heaven, Jesus quite literally would have said, I come to do your will, and I come to do... You need to understand that God... The sacrifice, they made sacrifices by them. My friend, we're not talking about sacrifices. We are talking about Jesus, the second person of the Trinity. Did he have a God? The second person of the Trinity, does he have a God? Because only one person, he's not two persons. So when he was on earth, he was one person. When he yes. was in the heavens, he was still one person. So the same person, the second person of the Trinity, does he have a God? He has a Father God, yeah. Good, so he has a God, yes? The f who is the Father? Yes, but he is, but he has the same authority as God. You know listen, listen, listen. Do you have a God? Yes. So you are a human being, you have a God. You are one person. But am I God? No. I didn't ask you if you were God. I said, do you have a God? I know you're not God. If you have a God and you submit to that God, you are not God. Okay. Is that right? Yeah. Anyone who claims they have a God, they cannot be God. Because God doesn't have a God. Are you with me? Yeah. When Jesus claims that he has a God, he cannot be God. Because the Father doesn't claim that he has a God. The Father doesn't worship a God. The Father doesn't pray to God. But Jesus claims he has a God. He worships to the God by placing his face on the ground and praying to him in the Garden of Gethsemane to take the cup away from him. Yes, which did not happen. Unfortunately, his prayers got rejected. And thirdly, Jesus clearly asserts who that God is. The Father in John 17, 3. He says, this is eternal life that they may know you, the Father, the yes. only true God. So according to Jesus, you're not going to know the Father unless you have the Son. You're not going to know... No, no, that, gonna, that not, verse... You're not going to have access to the Father without the Son. That's fine. So he's the way. No, Jesus, Jesus said, I'm the way, the indeed. truth, and the life. What I'm to is, whom? To that one God. What, what I'm saying is, you're quite literally dead in your sin. Unless you follow the old covenant laws, unless you follow... Unless you're doing sacrifices... Who's but you're, you're who's going into preaching mode now. 
Yes, when I'm telling, when I'm telling you, yeah. this is not the church, my friend. Okay, we, we doesn't work like that here. Here we, we have a dialogue. We, we, okay, so we will be crit critiquing what's in the Bible, and we'll be observing and analyzing what Jesus said. Yeah. Jesus clearly claimed that he had a God. Do you agree? Unless you're going against Jesus, in John 17:3. Read it if you don't <laughs> believe me. Read that verse. The reason I'm, the reason I'm laughing is because. Is what? Because. You omit all the other verses. No, I did not. Jesus I did not even discuss the other verses. Okay, okay. I'm going. I'm saying let's go step by okay, step. Let me, First, you need okay, to admit yeah. and acknowledge what Jesus Himself admitted and acknowledged. But, but by you, by you accepting that as true, does that mean that you believe the whole New Testament? Then? Do you believe the Bible? No, I don't. So then, what, so what did I tell you earlier? Yeah. That as a Muslim, so you believe the as a Muslim, to believe, Listen, but as a Muslim, true. I don't need to believe any part of the Bible okay. because I've got the Quran. The Quran supersedes every previous book. Even though I believe that the Injil and the Torah and the Zubur were revealed to previous messengers, yes, I don't need them. As a, as a Muslim, my criteria, my criterion here is the Quran, Al-Furqan. And this is what I, as a Muslim, have to abide by. However, the reason I'm quoting these verses to you is because you as a Christian believe this to be the true word of God. Now, the true word of God, and specifically the word of Jesus himself, is claiming that he, his God, is the Father. But you are reluctant or somehow there is some sort of, a, what do you say, a barrier between you and the words of Jesus Christ here. No. So do you, do you agree with the words of Jesus well, Christ this, well, that the only true God is the Father? Well, this is what I'm trying to say. The reason I asked you is yeah. if, if, if you believe that verse, do you believe everything else? Is because my only reasonable way of answering that is with scripture. But when, as I present them scripture, you can simply say, well, I don't believe it because it's not in the Quran. No, no, no. So I don't, I don't need to I'm do that. I'm in a corner where I'm getting, I'm getting hit by one thing and I'm saying, okay, I can give you the scripture and then you can say, well, it's not real because it's not I'll tell you what, you so can, lose, you like, can, no, you don't no lose. Win, it's, no win. In order for you to defend yourself, yes, you yeah. can read other parts of the scripture. I never told you not to. Okay. okay, so if I did make that restriction, yes, you have every right to say okay, I'm sure. being unfair. But since I didn't make such a okay, rule, sure, 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 okay, sure, sure. so first let's read John 17 3 and then you tell me what you understand by it and then we proceed from that. John 17 3. Yeah. But the reason, but, but to be honest, the reason why, the reason why it's hard and you said don't go in preaching mode. Is yeah, that don't go in preaching mode because obviously we're having a dialogue here. We're having a dialogue, but... But when you start go... talking about the sacrifice, when I'm asking you about the divinity of Jesus and about who his God is and about the Trinity, you're telling me about the sacrifice. I'm not asking the reason Jesus came as a man. Mm. I'm asking you the reason why Jesus would actually... That's important uh, though. Why Jesus would attribute I mean, if you can the admit, Father to be the only if, true if God. If you say you believe in the Tanakh, you can admit Psalms 2, Psalms 22, Psalms 53. I never said I believed in as the I Tanakh. I'm, the reason I'm quoting these things to you is because you believe in them. Yeah. Okay, I don't, like I said, I don't need any of the Bible to understand who God is. I have the Quran and the Hadith and really? for me that is really enough. Do. I don't need to. Do. I'll tell you why, because if I did, on the wrong path. If, I, if I was on the wrong path, then, if I was on the wrong path, then I wouldn't be the one who believes in a human sacrifice to be saved. You are on the wrong path, my well, friend. Because for you, that is, that is the only way you can be saved, by human sacrifice. No. Yes? No. Can you be saved without the sacrifice of Jesus? No. Well, I'm not, it's not I that believe that, it's the Tanakh that tells us that. No, the Tanakh, even, the even Tanakh doesn't say to believe in a human sacrifice. In fact, it says let's the read. opposite. Let's read. It says the opposite. Let's read. Let's okay, read. let's read John 17 before you well, divert. No, no, wait, wait. I asked you first to read John 17 that. 3. That's it, that's it. The reason, I don't know why you're reluctant to read that. Okay, let's go, let's okay, go. Okay, go on, read John 17 but, I mean, 3 and tell me what you understand but, from it. But this is what I need, I need you to understand is that people didn't believe in Jesus being the Messiah and the Son of God because he said so. They searched the scriptures of the Tanakh and said, oh, this is the Son of God. No, they, they rejected him. All the Jews rejected him. Yeah, do you know Only why? a few maybe accepted him. But majority, the reason Judaism rejects him even as a prophet and messenger, let alone the Messiah, is for that reason. Because according to them, a Messiah will not be crucified. Because that is a sign of curse. A person who is cursed. And this is exactly what Paul said in Galatians 3.13, that Jesus became a curse for mankind. I'll tell you do you remember why, that? I'll tell you why they didn't believe. Because okay, anyway. In the, gospel, in the Gospels they say, there is no prophet born out of Galilee. But we know that Jesus was born in Bethlehem and that, he's, and that he moved to Galilee. So there's a part in the Gospels where the Pharisee says, are you guys deceived? We've searched the scriptures. There's no prophet, there's no, the Son of God, the Messiah isn't born out of um, Galilee, he's born out of Bethlehem. That's, that was their that, argument. That might be one of the reasons. One of the reasons. Yes, but the other reasons yeah. are, yeah, yeah, yeah. as I told you. But anyway, read John 7 and 3 and then okay, we proceed from there, inshallah. What's the name, by the way? 
I'm Ross. Ross? Yeah, man. I've nice seen you online. I've seen you online. Yeah. Is it your first time here? You've been here before? I've been a couple of times, but okay. I'm, I'm in Uxbridge. Yeah, first so first well, encounter well, yeah. With, yeah. <laughs> with me then, I guess. But you say no preaching, man, but the goal here... The goal here is I not mean, preaching, it's to have a dialogue. This, this is, yeah, that's right. But at the end of the day... You do all the preaching in the church, my friend. That's yeah, what the yeah, church okay. is for. <laughs> yeah, well, the church don't need saving, so, but they do. But you need to go preach they there, do. isn't it? Yeah. But, but one, some people are going to hell, you know what I'm saying? So let's, let's just start Well, that's group. not your call, that's God's call. Well, who I heard to, you say earlier... Who goes to, who goes to heaven well, and who goes to hell? You said it to our, our friend earlier, you're going to hellfire. Yeah, if you disbelieves and you worship a false god, then you're going to exactly, hellfire. Exactly, it's yes. very clear. It's but this is, these are the conditions we, we, that God gives you. He says that this is shirk and shirk is something which is unforgiven and it is something which okay. will lead you to hellfire. John 7. So we only judge by the apparent, but I can't judge for everyone else. John obviously. 7, what, sorry? 17, 3. 17? Yeah, 1, 7. Okay, 17, 3. Yeah. So, this was, this was Jesus' last prayer. Yeah, what does he pray? As thou, have given, as thou has given him power over all flesh. Oh no, sorry, that's Which one. Which are you reading? And this, is, and, this is the, and this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou was sent. Yeah. What do you understand from that? Yeah. What? Who, according to Jesus, who is the only true God? But how do, how do no, you No, don't know? say but. Just explain that verse first. I'm explaining it. Yeah. What do I'm you explaining understand? it. Yeah, go on. And this is life eternal, that they may know thee, the only true God. How do you know the only true God? No, not how. Who is the only true God here first? Answer that. <laughs> God. No, no. I'm, I'm. Come on, be honest now. Who is, according to Jesus, who is the only true God? Whom is he addressing here in that prayer? You're taking out, this is what I'm trying to say. I'm not taking out of context. What? No, I'm not. Okay, read one, verse what? 1 and 2 and you'll find the context. These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and Why said, Why is the Bible so complicated? Bro, bro, it's not. We're having a discussion. It's, okay. You okay. guys... Because, no, 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 you don't need to answer that question. I'm not, I'm my friend, my friend, you don't need to answer the question. Okay, okay, okay. Read, read that verse and tell me whom is he addressing. These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. Yeah. So, for what? So, whom is he addressing? Is he the son of God then? Whom is he addressing? I'm asking you a question. You see, the reason you're reluctant to answer, I'm not reluctant, you are. But this, but, is, but, this but, is the point. I'm I'll answer here. your question after you answer mine because yeah. I asked you first. So, so the question is this, whom is Jesus praying and addressing here? Okay. Whom? I'm going to answer it. It's a very simple question and you know the answer, but the reason you're reluctant is because it goes against your I'm Trinita Trinitarian uh, Jesus, doctrine. Is this Trini? There is no Trinity. You're doing it again. We don't believe in Trinity. <laughs> you see, when, when more but than one people talk, on different topics. No, no, no. no, no, but if you want to ask we a question, you can do it later, please. With all due respect. We okay. believe in the God. This is what I'm going to okay. try and say. Okay, let me let me just get re reiterate to my point. You told me to read 17.3. Yeah. Which says... And I asked you, whom is he addressing? Yes. And, and you still says, haven't answered. I, and this is why I want to answer in the way I want to answer. No, because answer based on the context. Not the way you want to answer, but answer no. because you... I'm answering, I'm answering your question perfectly, but just hear no, me you're for not. one second. You're not. You're being, you're, you're being evasive. <laughs> In, I'm in, not. You are. You'll be <laughs> because we know he's addressing the do father. Believe, do you believe that's real, though? It's seventy. Real? That, that verse you want me to read. Do you believe that is true? Well, according to you, everything is true, right? But do you believe that? Does it matter true? what I think? Well, you're asking me, so sh surely. You, you know why I'm asking you? Because according to you, that is the word of God. Am yes. I right? Is it the word of God for me? Yeah. Okay. Is it not? For me, I look at it based on. So you don't believe it? Can I answer the way I want? Yes. Go ahead. Yes. Go ahead. Based on me, if Jesus says the only true God is the one who is his God, I have no issues with that. To me, that is the truth. Okay, because it is in line with my belief. But However, for you, the reason you are evasive in your answers, when I asked you, whom is he addressing? You said God instead of saying the Father. I'm not why, why did you not say the Father? Even though you know he's addressing the Father. But the reason, you know why you said the God? Why you said God instead of the Father? Because the only way you can actually fit it within the, your doctrine of the Trinity is by saying God. And if you say the Father is the only true God, then the Trinity goes out the window. But bro, this is what I'm trying to say. What? I said Jesus is the Son of God. 
You say you agree with 17.3 where Jesus says that you may, may know the one true God. Yet two sentences before, yeah. he says, These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come, glorify thy son that thy son may glorify thee. Yeah. So, I, so that clearly tells me that Jesus is identifying himself as the son of God. And you say, no, he's not the son of God. Then two sentences no, 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 later. No, no, wait a minute. Wait so, a minute. When did I say in that verse he doesn't identify as the son of God? When did I say that? I never said so that. Do, so I'm saying, that true? I'm saying, is that true or not? Hold on. I'm saying, I've, I've repeated this several times, I don't know why you still don't understand. Because I will only go based on my belief in the Quran and Sunnah, so not your Bible. So and I've, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Once, you, once again, instead of listening to my answer, you're already looking for the next question. Please, God has given us two years for a reason. I'm listening. Okay? You but you, you have to listen, yeah, I'm listening to understand or not listen to ask the next question. Yeah, so listen to understand, go ahead, go ahead. please. Go ahead, go ahead. I, as a Muslim, believe in the Quran and the Sunnah. For me, that is my faith and that is my source of and my scripture for my belief. In your case, your source of, of your belief is the Bible. So let's stick to that. Now, when I asked you, according to Jesus, who is the only true God? Okay, what was your response? Let me just ask, can I just say one question? Because no, don't answer. A, Every time, you see, no, I answered your question. I, I won't answer the question, but this is what I'm saying. What? Nothing I say will matter because, because the fact that you can pick what you decide to believe and not believe leaves me in a position where I can't say anything because you can always reverb it back to your own, your own belief because you can say, well, I believe this because it's in the Quran. I don't believe that. So when I want to say, when you, when you say your fair point there and I want to say, okay, that's fair enough, but Jesus says he's the son of God. You're going to be like, well, he's not the son of God. No, if you want to believe he's the son of God, okay, that is not something that I have an issue okay, with. Okay, okay. I have an issue with you being evasive in your answers when I asked you, whom is Jesus? Okay, saying, okay let's so, go back to it now. Okay, so once again, I ask you the question. When, jo when Jesus says the only true God, mm. yes, you, the only true God, who is the you in this context? This is, the, this is God. Yeah. And which God is that? Just God. Just God means the yes. Trinity or one person of the Trinity. Just one God. There is no Trinity. That's just God. Did you just hear that? I said this earlier, there's no Trinity. So you don't believe in the triune God? No, I believe in the Godhead. Which is the Trinity. That's, there's no Trinity. So this is just semantics now you're playing with? No, because you're... What is a Godhead? That's God. That's the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Okay, so when Jesus says, you, the only true God, whom is he referring to? All, all three of them? Or only one of them? God Almighty. Means all three of them? No. Ah. No, no, no. Now, now you know you're caught. No, no. Yes, you are. Caught. Because you, when you read the verse, when he's addressing the Father, and you know this, you know this. Yeah. The reason you're biting your lips is because you know it is very difficult for you no. to, to actually admit and acknowledge that Jesus is calling the Father as the only true God. And you know what is the next verse he says? Sorry, the same verse? You, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you sent. So he's not referring to himself. Do you agree? Let me say. Let me. Let me just ask you a question. If don't God, ask me a question. Is, Answer my question. God, if God is Almighty, and Jesus is the Son of God, would you would you attribute more authority to God Almighty? Who is God Almighty? Just God. Would no, you no, no, no. Don't say just God. No, no, no. No, don't say just God. Because when a Christian God says God, I know you understand that as a Godhead. Am I right? No, because I see it as I see it as free. Three what? I see. It as, I see Jesus, the Son of God, and Father God. Yes. As separate. I agree. Yeah. So who is the authority? We know that we know that the Father gave everything to the Son. So not we know that He gave Him. So we know that the, the Almighty God is the Almighty God. So why did Jesus say, "My Father is greater than I"? And I'm, I'm, I'm partly agreeing with you there. But what do you mean partly? You have to fully agree with that because that's in the okay. Bible. Let's go scripturally. Let's that, go scripturally. That is scripture I gave you. Yeah, but I'd rather... The reason, yeah. the reason... I'll answer with scripture. You see what I, I meant earlier about you being evasive scripture. in your answer? I'll answer with scripture. The reason... Because no, you're not, you're not. You're I actually going... There's a scripture. No. Even though I've told you I'm several sorry. times that Jesus is addressing his father, you still are saying, no, he's speaking to God. But who's that God? According to Jesus, that only true God is the okay. father. He's in the body of... A, he's, in, he's, in, he's, in, he's on earth. Yes. You know what I'm saying? How many persons? He's still the second person of Trinity. Right. Let's the second person of the Godhead, if you don't like the word Trinity. Is Jesus the second person of the Godhead? 